Okay, today is the, um, this is the iPad tutorial for topic seven brushes in the module two Photoshop workshop. I'm gonna come down here to the topic page. At this point, um, the hope is that you have made it through most of the module, um, looked at the tutorial videos, hopefully even checked out some of the free websites that are listed here for downloading brushes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to uh, the assignment today. Um, so this video here showed the project inspiration um, and then this is kind of where we're going with it. So we are going to use one of the portraits that um, we found in the blend modes image folder. I have it repeated again for you in materials uh, for brushes and we're going to create an effect like this that really just kind of elevates your portrait and uh, in my mind kind of that's these are the types of images that you think of when you think of Photoshop. So we're going to learn how to do that with a pretty easy and magical tool called brushes. Um, let's see. So we're going to scroll back up. I'm going to go next to find the topic seven image folder. Uh, these are all the same portraits, um, but you're just going to pick one to download. Um, I have already selected and downloaded the same example that I used for uh, blend modes. So you can just click and hold on that, add it to your photos. Um, the next thing that you can do, I'm gonna go back to the topic page. You can select any of these linked um, sites to find brushes on. For this one, I'm gonna leave it open to you what type of brushes you find. I want you to have fun with it and experiment. Um, for this example, I'm going to be uh, using Brush Easy, which I already have pulled up here. Um, so Brush Easy has tons of Photoshop brush packs that you can download for free. Uh, just avoid the ones that say premium. Um, I already know that I'm going to get a smoke effect brush because that's what I use in the example. So I'm just gonna type in smoke and I'm gonna look through here to see what's available. And essentially, once you find one you like, you are going to select it. And when you open it up, you're looking for the free download button. Um, you should not have to sign up or log in in order to get these free brushes, just download them. I'm gonna click download. And you'll see up here that it is working. Oops, once that's complete. All right, so it's existing here in my downloads. Next, I'm going to go to Photoshop and I'm gonna create a new document. Oops. So for this example, we'll just keep with the five by seven. And I wanna make sure that it's in the, um, not only that it's inches, but it's in the vertical orientation because that is the orientation that my picture is in. And then I'm gonna hit create. Next, I'm gonna find my little photo icon and I'm gonna pull that image out of my photos and place it in. And I'm gonna stretch it. I don't want it to fill the whole thing. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a white border, but I'm gonna stretch it to be fairly big and then hit done. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to apply a mask to this to completely conceal it. And then we're gonna use the brushes to reveal it. So if you remember, we're gonna just apply a mask by clicking the mask icon here in the toolbar on the right side. And then nothing's gonna change aside from there is now a mask applied. So now I'm gonna come over to my paintbrush, or my, I'm sorry, my paint bucket tool. Um, sometimes it's hidden under the gradient. So just make sure you select the right one. And I wanna make sure that I fill this whole thing black. So I'm gonna make sure that my top color dot is black and then I'm just gonna click one time. If you remember for masking, black conceals, white reveals. So what I just did by painting black is I've concealed my whole image and you see that by the black box that's over top of it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my brushes. I'm gonna import my brushes I just downloaded. So I'm gonna go to my brush tool. Uh, if you just click the brush tool, this menu pops up. If you click and hold, um, you will actually be able to select your brush. And to import your brushes, you're gonna come down to this little plus sign here and you're gonna import from files. So these were in our downloads. So I'm gonna open my downloads file and I'm going to select that ABR file. And that ABR file, um, now I've already installed this so you see it twice, but when you click on it, these are all the smoke brushes that I just downloaded. Let me pull that up again. 
Right now it's really big, so I'm going to bring that size down so we can see it. And I'm gonna switch my color to white. And you'll notice if I start to click on this, I'm gonna to start to see part of my picture come through. The reason I switched it to white is I'm now revealing on the mask. You can see where I've clicked here. Um, and that's all happening through my smoke brush. A couple things that you can play with. Um, you can mess around with the opacity and how see-through that brush is. Uh, obviously the size is gonna help and you'll see in the size preview just how big it is. If, sorry, I'm gonna click on these three little dots. I can have more um, options here. Like I can switch up the angle that this brush clicks at so I can have a more of a horizontal look to it. Um, I can affect the flow. So right now my flow is down a little bit. Uh, flow is basically, it's a gradual effect. So if you turn the flow down, it's going to reveal more the more you click in the same space. Um, but I like to play with angle a lot just to get different um, angles of my brush so it's not all the same exact brush pattern that is stamping. So I'm gonna come back over here. Let me see if I can get back to vertical. And all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click around. I wanna make sure that my face is the most bold. And then occasionally I'm gonna come over and switch my angle of my brush just to get some different effects here, different looks. And the goal for me is that it's not, I'm not revealing the whole picture, but I just have some of it coming through with the smoke. And then I can also switch up what type of smoke I'm using. So I'm gonna do that by picking a different one. I'm gonna change my size. Maybe I'll even do one that's a little bit bigger. All right, now what I don't want, I don't wanna see this line. So I'm gonna switch back to black and I'm gonna make this brush a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna change the angle. And I'm gonna come along this edge and you'll see as I click more, more of it disappears. And I'm gonna play around with the different types of brushes that I'm using. Do. That was a little too big. I'm going to bring that down. Okay, right about here. I'm going to keep working to get rid of some of that edge line. And really my goal is I just don't want to see that line. I want this to feel real billowy and smoky like she's coming through the smoke. So again, I'm gonna flip my angle here so I can get some on this top line and on the bottom. All right, and this looks pretty good to me. Now the last finishing touches I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a gradient underneath and on top. So first thing I'll do is click on my background layer. I'm gonna go uh, back to my paint bucket tool and select my gradient. And I'm gonna make sure that my colors are black and white because on the underneath one, I just want a black and white gradient. So I'm gonna do this by clicking and dragging to apply my gradient. What just happened? All right, I might flip that and have my brush go in the other direction. So the gradient applies just by clicking and dragging. Um, I kinda like the idea of the dark being down here. Um, now I'm going to add another layer and I'm going to drag it in front of my picture. It lets me select it. Uh, and this time I'm going to add a gradient, but I am going to change the colors. So I'm going to get like a purple and a pink.
and I'm gonna add that. Now you'll notice that this completely obliterates the picture. So all we have to do is affect the opacity. So I'm gonna click on the layer and I'm gonna select layer properties, which is this icon right here. And on this one, I can bring my opacity down. So I'm gonna start there until I can see the picture. And then I'm gonna play with a blend mode. So I'm gonna see how these different blend modes work and affect it. It's pretty intense. Let's see. I kind of like screen here. So I'm going to leave screen. Um, I can do the same thing and kind of lessen the opacity on my um, gradient underneath if I want a softer look. But that's going to be just kind of up to your preference. And if you want to add any other little finishing touches, you can, again, download more brushes or you can see what's already available in the brush packs here. Um, there is one that kind of adds little flex and specs that I might kind of play around with. So let's see here. I'm going to keep it fairly small so it's not crazy big. But I'm just going to add little flex of pink. Let's see, there they go. Let's see. Here they come. Popping through now. Just to add a little something extra. All right, and at this point, once you finish, we are going to export this as a JPEG, make sure it's high quality, and then you are going to save this image and insert it onto your Module 2 art journal, the very last page with the brush portrait exercise.